This is JP from uh, New England Cop Chases, and uh, I just thought this was funny. This is Franklin Police. This is cruiser number 7244. And uh, read the sign. Do not block driveway. And there's a cruiser right here. <laughs> and uh, right next to it is the district court. And uh, right here, I want to show the folks another thing. So uh, to keep up impartiality and non-bias and not profiling, these guys had the balls to put this here. This is uh, cruiser number 7249, Franklin Police Department, and it says DWI Hunter. Which is funny because they their statue is DUI, not DWI. Oh. <laughs> driving under the influence. They don't have dri driving while intoxicated. <laughs> so, uh, this cruise number 7242. This is 7245. And this is an undercover. 885232 and it's funny because their uh, license plates are actually obscured. Yeah. So this is uh must be one of the undercovers. You can see the digital relay on the top of the car, that little round thing right there. That lets them hook up to NCIC National Criminal Information Center. Oh, it's got a front plate, so it's legal. It's all legal. I want to um, show the folks how militarized police are getting. So we're going to come down here. We're getting yelled at by a little doggy. We're going to come down here. And this looks like a 1988. Two 1988s, an 88 and an 89. Militarized Hummer. Dude, this is at the police department. There's another one right there. But what I thought was really cool is this is an IROC Z right here. A full fledged Camaro, but it doesn't look like it's been used like, I don't know, maybe since 19. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, it's a 1983. I got the, the date around the ballpark, but it looks like they use it for the DARE program. <clears throat> now kids, this is what you'll be driving if you don't do drugs and become a cop. Yeah, you get you end up next to militarized Humvees at the police department, which is really funny. I'm really surprised they they uh, haven't sent anybody out to talk to us yet because usually when people are roaming around the police department, they do. Oh, I see lights. Looks like he's uh, checking out, doing a full check, an equipment check. Yeah, he's doing an equipment check before he goes on, so they must be coming on their shift. I wonder what they'll think if I tell them I'm going to stalk you guys, follow you guys. Watch you guys, tape you guys. So that's all he did was get in the cruiser and he's going back inside. It's weird. Very weird, very, very weird. So that 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 vehicle must be ready for shift. Unless he's coming out to make sure we didn't Interfere. tamper with it. Yeah. Oh, it would be hilarious if we uh, started plugging into the vehicle. Oh, yeah, it's on. It's getting ready for shift. So, I guess this police department, when they get in the cruises, they do equipment checks. Uh, make sure the sirens work and lights work, which is not, a, not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, when we do logging and we go into the skid steer or the skidders, we check the oil, everything. But this is uh, JP, we're in Franklin and uh, 
we'll get some more video for the folks um, as long as we stay because the reason why I wanted to come here is because it's got one of the highest overdose rates in the in the state so I wanted to check check this place out and apparently they're not doing much because they're pretty much all here on a Saturday night and it's not even that late yet it's not even nine yet so all right peace